I'm on your main line. Tell me what you want. It makes no difference but the day or time. Tell me what you want. And I'll be there to answer your call. I won't slumber or sleep. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the brightest side of darkness. With me, your host. Khadija, this story right here is really disturbing, y'all. I mean, and it's something that y'all don't probably challenge yourselves to think about at all until you run into an article like this. It says Seattle is running out of space for um, red bodies mm, because fentanyl is killing so many people. And surge capacity is on standby, health officials said. Now, did, that is insane. <sighs> to put it in a better perspective, it says the King County Medical Examiner's Office director recently said that um, this is during a health meeting. He said they nearly out of room for bodies. In October, officials reported that 710 fentanyl deaths in King County in 2022, more than 2021's entire total. Already, in the first three weeks of 2023, 35 overall deaths from overdose have already occurred. So at this rate, they definitely gonna bust open that and break that record anyway officials raised alarms back in october when they reported more than 700 overdose deaths in the first 10 months of the year already in the first three weeks of 2023 35 overdose deaths have already occurred in king county alone the news comes amid a startling report on the number of homeless deaths in Seattle, which reached 310 by the year's end. The previous record was 195 in 2018. Now, according to the King County Med- Medical Examiner, fentanyl contributed to more than half of the deaths and many individuals had a mix of multiple drugs in their system, including cocaine and amphetamine. You know, there's a saying that says, you know, the same grave you dig for me will be the one that you fall into. And when you think about how white supremacy devastated our communities with the crack or how they decimated the Native American with the alcohol, you know, by taking them smallpox and in blankets and um, by General Elmhurst's permission and, and giving them this alcohol so they all become alcoholics pretty much and they devastated our community with the poison of heroin and uh, and the crack epidemic that was like no other. And now the same death and brutality and morbid is hitting their communities. And it is hitting it in record numbers because the trap you set for us your people falling into it too because you got to understand where the this is the human race so go one there go the other you know it's really interesting that when you think about birds and 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 how they can fly in harmony different 
species, of course, some birds eat the other birds. And that's what we have. That's what we live in. Um, but for the most part, the robin doesn't fly with the blue jay. He and the uh, blue jay and the sparrow. Um, and, uh, they have their own set. But they don't disrespect one another. As birds and bird kingdom. We the only species known to mankind that set traps for another group that the dominant group is going to fall into as well. Now you got everybody messed up. Everybody is on a mix of multiple drugs. And it's not just fentanyl. It's cocaine. It's methamphetamine. It's It's whatever. They just cutting it with fentanyl. But y'all didn't have no love for the people and the drug wars that was going on in the 80s. In fact, you sat in front of your TVs with popcorn and watched, what was his name? Gates in L.A. go ramming through them people's houses with, uh, 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 um, you know, those bam battle rams and running through their houses with, uh, God, total, just mayhem, AK-47s running into the houses, bashing them open um, to throw the drug dealers on the street. They watched the mayhem on the streets with the blood and crip war with the drugs, and they allowed it all because they allowed it into our communities but it has been alleged that they would drive trucks into our communities with bags and bags of guns and bags and bags of cocaine park them in a the u-haul truck in the inner city open the door and then just walk away that's how our communities got infiltrated with all this garbage Y'all never think about that. Y'all think it's by design and old oh, black people just love dope. Well, I guess white people love dope too. Because y'all dying at a record rate with this fentanyl. And you got some towns who are so decimated by it. They gonna have to shut the damn town down. They don't even, some cities, they don't even got enough Narcan and none of this to protect these people. Because it's too much. A King County, home to Seattle, where the drug epidemic has worsened in years. All, I mean, it's just insane. And to see these people laying here. The, this news come amid a startling report on the number of homeless deaths in Seattle in 22 reached 310 by the year's end and it is insane in King County tell me what y'all think about that I mean everybody know how bad the Seattle homeless problem is which is no different I mean it's just being homeless is just messed up period no matter where you at but these numbers are spiking. And y'all think this is by accident? Y'all think this is by accident that m normal, hard-working people now don't have nowhere to live. And they're living in they, uh, cars and trucks. And what's supposed to be the richest country on the face of the earth. Somebody lied. And somebody is neglecting their babies. The American citizens. That's what's going on. How can we be the richest country and people making all we, and people living like this? And they constantly show and push their wealth in your face. The top 1%. This is insane. Because this, this, this situation could be changed overnight. If there was a will. There is no will. And now all the people strung out on dope. 
And if they're not strung out on dope, then they are a victim of the dope user's behavior. You got them breaking in homes, breaking in places, trying to get a fix. This is sad. And when I say sad, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Maybe I'm just taking it too far. Tell me what you think, okay? You like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And like I said, the top of this is they running out of space for dead bodies because the fentanyl is killing so many people. They ain't got nowhere to put their dead. Insane. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.